Hey, what up, good people? It's me, Miss Ebony V. Welcome back to my, my channel. channel. Today's video is going to be a review on a product that was sent to me. This product is Straight Silk Spray by Junior Labs. They were kind enough to send me this, so thank you, Junior Labs, for sending me this product. And I am going to try this product on blowing out my hair, and then you'll see me flat iron my hair using this product. So, if you want to see this video, stay tuned. Infused with argan oil, minimal ingredient formula for maximum thermal heat protection. So, it's claiming that you get silky straight hair in half the time. Protects hair up to 450 degrees, formulated to blend hair extensions with your existing hair. I guess that's its primary purpose, but we're just gonna straighten my own hair, <laughs> right? Does not contain any harsh chemicals, alcohol, sulfates, parabens, I can't even say that. Ciao, you see the struggle? <laughs> we're trying to get that word out. That phthalates, phthalates, it's like pH. TH. How does the word start with PH and then TH? Phthalates. That's all I got. P H T H A L A T E S. Phthalates. I'm gonna go with phthalates. Like, why would you combine those? Okay, anyway. <laughs> no phthalates or any substances known to be damaging to hair. So the directions is to shake well before using, apply silk straight spray throughout slightly damp hair after shampooing and conditioning. Massage through hair with fingers from root to tip before applying thermal heat source. And this is to be used with a blow dryer, a flat iron, or a curling iron. I'm gonna use this product to blow dry my hair. So I wash my hair. I don't even know how long it's been. What's today? <laughs> What's today? Maybe two days ago, maybe three, maybe three days ago. And it's kind of been like this ever since. I washed it, deep conditioned it, and then just kind of twisted it up um, as my protective style under my wig that I've been wearing all week. So I'm sure my hair could really use a little TLC right now. So I am going to rehydrate it before I go into using this product. Oh, sometimes you just gotta massage the scalp, y'all. Every time, massage your scalp. First of all, it feels so good. And second of all, whew, it gets the blood, bloodstream flowing that promotes healthy hair growth. Just massage it, y'all. Whew, feels so good. All right, <laughs> let me move on. All right, so again, I have these twists in my head, so I am just going to get one side out the way and work in sections. I am going to re-wet my hair. I am going to re-moisturize my hair because again, it's been a couple days. So right now, I'm just finger detangling. Get my little spray bottle. My infinity spray bottle that keeps the spray going. Okay. I'm gonna spray some of this straight silk spray. We're gonna see how good this works. And you know, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion. So I'm gonna spray this throughout the section. Home again. And now we can begin blow drying. And I'm blow drying using the tension method where I am pulling the hair to keep it as straight as possible while it's drying.
really working nicely. It is straight and it does have a little bit of a shine, just a little snitching, but yes, yeah, it actually kind of works nicely. That's my name being called. I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> I can hear my name being called, but I'm acting like I don't hear it either. I'm just acting like I don't hear it. But I hear it. <laughs> I hear it. <laughs> All right, last section, y'all. This is like the only plus of having fine hair is that it's really much easier to work with. So my daughter has 4C hair, but her hair is not fine like mine. And so it takes me forever to get through her hair. I mean, forever is so thick. But then I wish my hair was that thick. <laughs> Usually, most of the time, I wish my hair was that thick. Like, I'd be so envious when I'm doing her hair. Like, dang, I wish my hair was this thick. But one of the pros of it not being this thick is being able to detangle and blow dry quickly. Does not take a whole lot of effort when you have fine hair. So it's not thin hair, it's just fine hair. And I don't know if you know the difference, but my beautician gave me the knowledge that the difference is fine hair or thin hair means you don't have a lot of hair strands. That's not the case for me. I have like, multiple hair strands in like a hair follicle the hair strands that are there though are just super fine super fine but she also told me that i probably would never go bald because i have a, a whole lot of hair strands <laughs> so that's the difference between thin and fine if you didn't know oh that's what i learned anyway and i thought that was like very helpful information And if I'm wrong, somebody let me know. But I trust my beautician. Even though I don't go to her that often. Because <laughs> I don't really go get my hair done, y'all. Like, I am a believer of saving them coins and learning how to do your own hair. Save your coins, sis. You can do this yourself. Do it yourself. So I do it myself. And I have been for ever. I am going to take this opportunity to trim my ends because I feel like they're horrible right now. And I'm no beautician. I'm no professional beautician. I do what works for me. So you don't have to follow what I do. This just works for me. So don't come trying to come for me on how I trim my ends because there's a stylist out there like, you don't know what you're doing. I don't have a license. I do what works for me, okay? Just get that disclaimer out there, okay? All right, so, I mean, we're already in sections, so I'm just gonna work in this section to trim my ends. And the point of trimming ends is so that you don't have a whole ton of split ends, which I feel like I have right now because I have been neglecting my hair. So I do feel like I have a ton of split ends. And it's not that, you know, my ends are uneven, actually. So look, I do know this much. <laughs> See how thick the hair is here? 
and how thin it is here. All this thin eventually needs to go. But I'm not going to just go chopping off all this thin. I'm just going to chop off a little bit of this thin. Just so I can get some more healthy growth and then go back and chop off some more of this, of this thin. See what I mean? So how you can see through the hair right here? Yeah, I shouldn't be seeing through so much. You see how you can't see through anything up here? You can see through everything right here? Yeah, that's the difference. So all of that probably needs to be chopped, but you think I'm gonna chop all that off? Probably not. I'm just gonna chop off a little bit. see-through right here like honestly I probably need to cut like, all of this off I'm not doing that right now mm -mm. all this see-through no nope. we'll just chop off a little bit by a little bit <laughs> the next time I do a wash or no it won't be the next time maybe in another month or two before I go doing that I'm not cutting all that off I am cutting off a good little bit though I feel like that's a good little bit. You know, I'm not married to my hair, you know. I don't need it all here, you know. I can just cut off the bad, but I'm gonna cut off that much. And I guess it kind of doesn't matter because you never see me with my natural hair out anyway, so maybe I should. I never have my natural hair out. It's always braided under a wig or in a crochet. Ooh, that's pretty much the norm. this video was to highlight this straight silk spray um yeah it got my hair straight along with the blow dryer <laughs> and it's nice maybe I should try to flat iron it to see if that makes so for me I feel like I don't know if it's any different from the other heat protectant that I use, which is normally SMA. This is normally what I spray on my hair when I'm before I blow dry. So I don't know if it's any different. So that's why I feel like I need to maybe try to flat iron it and see if I'll see a difference that way. See if I'll get this nice silky sleek effect. Just don't know. So let me try that real quick. Y'all got time? 
Y'all got time for me to flat iron my hair? <laughs> probably not. This, probably, this video is probably long enough. But I'm going to do it anyway. But I am going to probably try to shorten this video because it is starting to get a little lengthy. So I'm just going to separate this in half first. A bad half. This is like a weird. My symmetry is the worst. Even with makeup, like I can never do the same that I do. Like if I do something on one side, I can't do the exact same on the other side. It just doesn't work. My symmetry is horrible. Horrible. All right this out the way and focus on the back so we are going to flat iron y'all i have not done this in probably a good year i just don't flat iron my own natural hair right i blow dry it i do blow dry <laughs> so that i can quickly braid even though i like my no heat drying method as well where i'll just put it in some braids and let it be you know let it dry overnight in a straight I can't even talk. Let it dry overnight in a stretched state. That's normally what I would do. So I try to avoid the heat altogether. Because as we all know, heat damages. Heat damages. And then, yeah, heat damages. All right, so I got my flat iron. I actually had it plugged in on the other sink over there. Glad my husband didn't see it because he's always complaining. Why am I on his side? Well, I need your side. I need more sockets. Okay. <laughs> Stop complaining. Did we go down? Yep, we're at 310. This is a wonderful flat iron, by the way, that I got off Amazon. I love it, love it, love it. I will leave it in the description box down below. Same. I'll go through another pass.
right, y'all, so for my final review of this product, it did actually get my hair straight and I guess somewhat silky. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have any issues with that. So my hair is nice and straight and sleek and I'm just able to get it up in this nice little small, small Z bun. It actually worked. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Be sure to thumbs up this video and leave me any comments down below. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.